special day because I have been dying to play more Shoot Takemi games if I'm saying his name right. Takumi Takemi, uh, yeah, Takumi, whatever. He's awesome and I just really want to play more games. Hi, so I'm excited. Hi, hi everybody. I hope you guys all had a really good weekend too. I definitely needed Friday and like the whole weekend to recover on an emotional level uh, from Final Fantasy 16, which I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm still not recovered from. <laughs> Very much not so. Holy shit, what is with all these new subs? Belle, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Fiona, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Black Chocolate, thank you so much for the tier one sub. That's a lot of brand new subs. Hi, welcome. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome, hi. You guys are so hyped! <laughs> I'm just as excited as you guys are. It's nice going into a game not knowing what the fuck you're about to play, but just knowing that you trust the writer so much. I, I trust the writer with my life. I, I know I'm gonna have a good time with this game because of him. Ah! Aw, Fiona, welcome to the stream! Thank you so much! <laughs> that is very sweet. Hi. Okay, uh, hi. I'm alive. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> I'll fix this. Oh, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Do really appreciate all the support. Ah! Yeah, the kitty cat. Detective hat, because the, the name of the game is Phantom Detective. So I feel like it's only fitting that I have the kitty cat hat for being a detective. It's my it's my detective hat. I, I have to look the part. I have to play the part. <laughs> oh, Yuki, thank you so much for the six months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, the detective hat is ready. Wouldn't that be funny if like the name of the game was like <laughs> Ghost Trick Phantom Detective? But like there isn't actually no detective work. <laughs> kitty cat detective hat Chris filed out here with the immaculate. It's the kitty cat detective hat. It's it's the famous, the one, the only. <laughs> I love this hat so much. It's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> ah! I didn't realize how old this game was. It says 2010. That's 13 years old. One this year. gem of a game. Very happy and coincides with my work anniversary. Oh, you guys are being way too sweet. What the hell? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to watch your streams, but I love your content. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm lost. I'm lost. Uh, Crafter, thank you for the 100 bits. Broxas, thank you so much for the 12 months. Matthias, thank you so much for the 8 months. Y'all are so sweet. It looks like a blanket. This is a shawl. So shawls are basically stylish blankets. That's what I like to call them. Blankets that you can wear outside and it looks appropriate. <laughs> it's just a shawl. Always have a plethora of shawls in your life. That's my, that's my motto. <clears throat> A shawl. It's weird. You, it, a shawl. <laughs> uh, it's such an awkward word. A shawl. There's an L at the end. Shawl. <laughs> Don't ask me, okay? Don't ask me. All I know is that I need way more of them. I have quite a few in my wardrobe, but I definitely could use more. <clears throat> I can guarantee you find a you, you'd find a couple good ones if you just go to a thrift store, look around. Ooh, sorry. Shawl. Yes, that's how you spell it, Alan. Shawl. S H A W L. I'm dying. <clears throat> Shawl. Yeah, it's it's weird. But anyway. <laughs> Hi. The most important thing about today is the kitty cat detective hat. That's that's the thing that brings us together today. <laughs> ah! You want to play this yourself so you can't watch. 
You mean you weren't so dedicated to this stream that you didn't play this weekend and binge the entire game just so you could watch these streams? I'm offended. Can't believe you. There aren't that many people playing the remaster. I wonder if it's because more people are playing Rain Code. Because I get the hunch that more people are interested in Rain Code than this game. Which I will play Rain Code uh, just next. Uh, um, after, after this game. Hmm. <clears throat> My fits are always so cool. Oh, I'm honored. I've just been slowly working on my wardrobe for the past four years. My my wardrobe used to be like not terrible, just kind of like mid. And over the past four years, I've been like slowly picking things out <laughs> from thrift stores and stuff, and just slowly upgrading over time. It, it takes time. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, I think Capcom was more concerned about advertising Street Fighter 6. Ghost Trick is just like a, a port, more or less. You have the drip for sure now. <laughs> you guys are way too nice to me. Thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Ah. Yeah, it's it's a rough it's a rough time for gaming right now. So like, probably not a lot of people are playing Ghost Trick because. Well, Final Fantasy 16 just came out. Raincoat just came out. It's a time to be alive, that's for sure. <laughs> and, and Final Fantasy 16 definitely took every emotion out of me. I still have not been sleeping soundly because I keep having really bad dreams Final Fantasy 16 related. I wish they I wish that I could say that my dreams have been good and pleasant, but they haven't. Like, if Final Fantasy 16 has destroyed me so much that my brain just comes up with, like, every possible bad thing that could happen in the game in the holes where they don't say anything about what happens in the plot to certain characters and, and like, my brain comes up with, like, every bad thing. And that's what I sleep with every night is just these visions of horror of the 16. It's been terrible. Like, this game actually tore my brain apart so bad. I can't sleep. It's so bad. I've never had that. I've never been so depressed about a game. Like, normally, I don't know, like, whenever I think about my Persona 5 journey, like, my dreams that I had of Persona 5 were pretty good. But, like, right now, it's just, it's just terrible. Ah! So hopefully playing Ghost Trick gets my mind off of that shit. I really hope so. <laughs> I know, I hope it passes soon too, because I want to have like a really sound sleep. Normally, I'm the kind of person that whenever I go to bed, I sleep pretty instantly. Like as soon as I lay down, I'm asleep within like five minutes. I'm one of those people. So it's really weird to me lately that whenever I try to go to bed, it's taking like 10 to 15 minutes on, what, what day did I beat the game, Thursday? On Thursday night, it took me 45 minutes to sleep. I could not sleep. I was so fidgety and so like awful. Like my emotions were so high finishing the game. I could not fucking sleep. 45 minutes to fall asleep. That's, that might be my record. That, that's terrible. Oh. oh, turn the music down. Thank you. Yes, I could do that. Actually, I might do it this way. Wait, I might do it in the game. Okay. Got it. Is that better? Julia, thank you so much for the 17 months. I really appreciate it. <sighs> the solid colors like blue and red look good on you. Oh, why thank you. I do avoid solid red colors a lot because I feel like red does not look good with my skin tone that well. If I just had like a solid red t-shirt on, I feel like it'd be no more noticeable. <clears throat> you sleep decently quick, but whenever I hear the slightest bug noise, I have to start all over again. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, 
that is so rough. Oh boy. Well, hopefully this game isn't gonna make me as emotionally distraught as Final Fantasy 16 did. I mean, based on this music, I don't know. I think this this yeah, this game is gonna be like happy-go-lucky, ain't nothing ever bad happened in a video game ever kind of deal. Like, I don't know, like, this shit's a bop. <laughs> If I'm listening to this music, it's hard to feel like I'm going to play this game and feel a lot of emotions, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think about this game, but the music makes me feel like everything's going to be fine and sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't even know what the game is about, dude. I have no idea. And that's my favorite thing ever. Uh. <clears throat> the game is ghost trick. The music is a ghost treat. Huh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh. Got a reason for the playthrough of one of my favorites. <laughs> Favorite games! Woo! That's a high title. Thank you so much for your, the nine month resub. I appreciate it. Oh, up there with like the world ends with you. Oh, that's that's good. I like to hear that. I really like the world ends with you a lot. Alan gifting us up to Bweedle. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. But anyway, we can just get started. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. We can totally just get started here. We don't need to do a big preamble here. I'm, let's just, let's just jump into it. Cause I want to play this game so bad. <clears throat> yeah, let's just, let's just do it. I'll probably move my camera around. I don't know where the best place is to have camera, but for right now, it's up in this corner. Oh yeah, let me look at the other options. So I just turned down the music. And then language is English, display, fast forward, unread text. Uh, oh. I'll worry about that later. Other. Okay. All right, here we go. I can't believe this is like the actual title music for the game. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> it goes off so hard. All right, let's go. Let's go. New game. New game. <clears throat> Chapter one. It's 7.02 p.m. specifically. That is very specific. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there, a woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm all... Wait, you... Play the game and you're dead? I'm dead? <laughs> That's a wrap. Game's over. This has got to be me. No question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? Uh, what the fuck? I'm, I'm dead. What's the point in playing this game? I feel bad for her, sure. But what can I do? But just as I was thinking this. <laughs> 10 out of 10 game. This is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. You're dead. What is this game? Is this game high on some shit? What the, who the, what the, the whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. Oh, wait, I think I get the game. Wait, it's called Phantom Detective. So that's us. We're the, we're a ghost. We're like a phantom detective. Oh, I now understand. <laughs> I was so confused. It all makes sense now. 
All right, welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head. Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. My corpse is ass game. up so in the air. Catch the stream. Viper, Looking thank you so much for the two months recent. I appreciate it. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. It just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul. Okay. Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So what, now I'm a crossing gate? Ahem, <laughs> now then. Use the crossing gate to save the woman. What but how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. This will be your chance. Oh, okay. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Oh, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. You'll see, you'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Trick. Oh, I did a ghost trick. <laughs> well played. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> ah, that was one of your powers at work. A uh, ghost trick. Man, I got the meaning of the title in the first, like, five minutes of the game. That's incredible. That's, like, record speed. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is press X. Now, the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Hmm, that's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with a ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. I see, a guitar then, is it? Hmm. Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball, but that would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. I had different options. Okay, but yeah. I'm going to use a guitar. Who's this? <laughs> the guitar works. That's got to be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to come up with something more. Let's see what core is close enough to possess from here. I guess all there is is me. No time to be picky. I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly. But... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. All right, now we'll set time in motion. Go ahead and try. I can't, I can't. Nothing's happening. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Well, I'm technically non-living. I'm dead now. <laughs> Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. Oh, okay. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you wanna take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen. Here, give it a try. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My I 
say in your future? Oh, she died. I failed the game. Great. Out of my way. Oh, my body. This game is, uh, real short. It's done. I'm on my way. Okay, but, like, you gotta admit, for being a dead guy, I am hot as fuck. Look at my drip. In the end, it looked like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy. What happened tonight? Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. So it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick that ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true, for now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Eh, before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. How? Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you just an about another one of your powers. Hmm. <clears throat> Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her, but I guess I'll take the desk lamp up and on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. <laughs> Trick time! That thought bubble you just pressed. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So, the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bu bu bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. L1 is your ticket in. The best thing to do is try it. I can possess a lot of things. So it does seem like I have a limit. This is interesting, the way that we could just like... Traverse. By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of the screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Okay. This time, circle is your ticket out of the ghost world. Good luck. Who's this we? So flag. I could turn on the fan. Oh no! No! 
now it's too far away from me. I'm starting to see the issue. Turn off the fan. So, okay, now I could, so I unfold probably. Okay, this concept is pretty cool, but what about the fan? That's funny. What is? My corpse and her corpse. They're definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway... Congratulations! You passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one? Now, let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Why don't you try and see? That was weird. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? It looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you've been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time. That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses, corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still wet with it. Wet. <laughs> well within that limit! You might want to give it a try before it's too late. Um, <clears throat> but this one, uh, this is crazy. None of it makes any sense. <laughs> We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make any sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? to the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. So is this lamp thing like the the god of the game? Um, What kind of game are we playing? <laughs> the lamp god, got it. Hmm. <clears throat> And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, not as a fuzzy distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. Hmm. 701. Wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of a hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rob all, all the last traces of the Temzik left in this country. Temzik? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. Why do you keep calling me sister? 
As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is, who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future! And she's dead again. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks, just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like, too. Now then, are you ready? I guess I'll, I guess I have to be. Oh boy. All right, this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I'll get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past after all. So naturally your starting port is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in then. All right, let's go. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You had better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Oh, that's cool. You can change the way that it happens because of how you end the time. Wait, so... Oh, I was like, how is this going to be different if you start at the same point that you started at the beginning of the game up top? But if you start at the bottom, you have a different perspective. Hmm. All right, have a look at the right side of the screen. The sand in the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. No pressure! So this is a traffic sign I can't do anything with. Traffic cone I can't do anything with. There is a soul like way over there, but yeah, we can't do anything with this. That's so weird. But then if I just turn on the fan, I'm also stuck. We did this before. I can't reach. I really like the concept of this game a lot. This is so cool. This is awesome. Ah, the pool! So yeah. Okay, traffic sign, door. I guess, yeah, unfolding this, I, I literally have to fold it in order to get across, so that's weird. Let me see. Can I do anything with Mr. Lamp? The lamp is still a question mark. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's roll the tire. The lamp has to have a name. Oh, open the refrigerator. Who are you? What side of Hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub off uh, all the last traces of Temzik in this country. So, Temzik. Hmm. Time is passing, gee thanks. I'm, I'm trying to do as much as I can here. Ah. Oh, I, 
can turn on the blender. Oh, 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 okay, okay, turn on. I'm gonna blend. Oh God, we're blending the flag? Isn't that illegal? Ah. Timing is important too when it comes to ghost tricks. You can press L1 and X any t any time? Oh. Wait, what? Once you get the blender and fan going at the same time, that's your chance. Oh, you just have to find the right timing. Okay. Interesting. But then, okay. Ah. Ooh. Cool. Just a few more steps. Hope I can make it in time. I hope so too. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is coming to a battle of seconds. No pressure. No pressure. <sighs> Pedal, ring, that's the only thing I can do. Uh, ring to distract? Nearsighted Jigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. Oh god. Looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. I did it! I think? Yo, you gotta be kidding me! The bridge is up! Oh. Oh, jeez. Pedal, pedal, pedal! Go, go, go! You said her fate was changed, but it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all. But there isn't much time left. Depending on what you do, there is still the possibility of failure. I don't want to think about failure right now. No, of course not. But still, if you ever feel like you want to start over, just tap R1 before the timer runs out. No. You never know, you might learn a thing or two when time runs out, too. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, but right now, I'd better go after those two. Oh shit. You hear something? How'd you miss that? Like, oh. <laughs> how does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Well, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all of that. You most certainly did, and I knew you could do it. Fate averted! Pro gamer already, wow, crazy. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. 
This is a wild game. We're playing as a dead person. When I came back to the present, it was raining. I had saved the I had saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Uh-oh, yeah, don't just sit in the rain, you're gonna get a cold. A stranger? That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. Were we dating? I can't recall a thing. Is she like my wife? <laughs> Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all, why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. Like a ray of sunshine. Uh, as in ray and light in the darkness. Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead, and that's to disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. T -t -t what? T Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute, Th these powers of the dead. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. <laughs> ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we can use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? Unless somebody else saves me. Okay, but like, here's the thing. In the memory, okay, uh, here's the thing. You just simply... So if the girl died and then the same thing happens to the girl, the girl saves me, I save the girl, boom, we both live. Since we can't save ourselves, we save each other. And boom, life hack. In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate. Right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death as well as, you, as well you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that, she might even know who I am. I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some uh, kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press L2 to view a record of your, what you've learned and be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. So the only thing, the only pieces of information we have right now is pretty much Ray telling us that we're 
special. We have the potential, per se. For lack of a better word. We have the potential. Whatever that means. All right, then. I wish you good luck. That also means that, like, I'm kind of offended, though. Because that implies that Ray didn't bother saving me. When... Ray could have. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the red-headed woman that witnessed that death. He calls himself the nearsighted Jigo. He carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the red-headed woman and me, but he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. Mm. Okay. Whoa! There's actually emotes? Oh, that's cool. I'd better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. Shimmy. Open. That worked. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself and then an umbrella came down all by itself. <gasps> oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. excited about a cat. <gasps> but seriously, what in the world just happened? She's acting like she doesn't know me. What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Wait, I want to see what else. Okay, so I can examine the note. I don't even know my own name. I bet I'm about to find out from that note, right? So you don't remember writing it. No, I don't even re I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. How would I know that? The guy made the call or- oh god. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you possess the telephone once you've done that I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks
And then I saw him. Right there, on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Whoa. He looks like the other guy. Maybe it's father and son. Speak up, man. Did you get her? Who is this? Hmm, yes. A thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. So that's him. The man who stole my life. That's right. So, what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help. Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. So we can go back to somebody dying within the past day. So that would imply that Ray is doing the same maybe for me. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything that you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one in the same. This desk lamp knows a whole lot more than he is telling me. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number, and the rest is all up to you. Okay, what if this is like some crazy ass plot where, hear me out, so what if Ray is like the the Jigo nearsighted Jigo murderer and he's pretending to be a good guy. So like what if what if that's him in the first place and he's coming back? I don't know why. So like yeah, Ray is Jigo and coming back in time to stop I don't know, uh, his father from making him do bad things. I, I don't know. He doesn't want to be the hitman. I don't know, I'm trying. Anyway. And so, the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning, I will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. <laughs> I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? I got an illustration, cool. So this is 7.02 to 7.31. That was the span of 30 minutes. Woo! Chapter two, 7.31 PM. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting, it's all so sudden. 
not sure I'm really prepared for what's about to come. this file is true. This woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. <laughs> Just slaps it. Slept mm, Yes, but I say the last thing I ever experienced was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the phone, I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music. And that odd little machine, I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another, another of their targets. That file the old man has, maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. <laughs> my redhead. <laughs> Can dial the phone. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, maybe that's how I. Okay. Mm, yes. How much longer, my good man? We're charging up our backup backup power now, sir. Oh my god! I just realized his uh, butt chin is very profound. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Mm, yes. But confound that Jigo, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope. Confound it! Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? <laughs> It seems this file contains information about that redhead. I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott! Did you see that? That file! I say! That the file reared up and snapped at me, my good man! Nearly bit of my head off! Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lean, is no longer a threat, sir. Lee Lin? 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 Bah! That's not what I'm talking about, man! Lin, huh? So that's her name, is it? But this file, it's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? job ahead of you tonight, sir. Those grapes are bigger than his head. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone I got put away neatly, and the only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I've traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here, and who exactly are these people? Let's see what we got. We got a lamp. We got a projector. I don't think I can really do anything with... Yeah, no, we can't. All right, projector, let's go. He got man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still mal malfunctioning, sir. Bah! Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off. Confound it! Hmm, yes, in any case. I don't wish to see the face of our tar current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey! 
Hey, that's... Hmm, <laughs> yes. Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, <laughs> yes. It's a more important might indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? What if he died on purpose knowing that he had this power? I think it's a little bit too convenient that his hair is shaped like a soul. Just saying. Artistic choice. We're completely, pre completely prepared for tonight, sir. Is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing? There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Operate it again? I think that's the only option we really have. Where is your head, man? I told you, I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction. Get it fixed, man, unless you want to me to see me malfunction. These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? I can't get in there, can I? Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip this situation around. it is about timing. Yeah, because I guess it does get brought down. That's true. I love that you can still, uh, I like the timing mechanic. That's cool that I could like do this whenever I want. is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with paintings spinning around and the like, it's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just complete completed recently. We are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Mm, yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, good man, how am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? state of affairs when I can't even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring! Egad! It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice! Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. Mm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead, Tango, to her, to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lynn is in danger again. This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. 
hand. Out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? But no, man! You know, you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your one last step ahead! <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. <laughs> I'll get back to my job now, sir. <laughs> Confound it! You're even hanging up one step ahead! <laughs> oh, this is a blast. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary! What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Chigo's pay. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I, only, if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Also, doing this guy's voice is killing my vocal cords. <laughs> Fuck. I'm just out here having fun and my vocal cords are like, Eep! So nobody really has names. Ah. Oh, jeez. Let's go. Is that a dead dog? The dog is upset. Is that a dog? I swear to God, if this guy killed the dog? The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of others unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Whoa! It looks like there is, uh, there is an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. So it is a dog. That poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. So he did kill the dog? Heartless bitch. I hope now that the main plot of the game isn't to figure out how I died. It's to figure out how to make the dog live. Vengeance for the dog. I have to do something about this situation fast. All right, how do we save the dog? Open the door. All right, dog, what happened? Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are presumably the little doggy who died? Died? So I'm dead? Let's see, the dead lose their memories, they even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. There's no time to- Oh, it's a little doggy! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! You mean you remember? You know who you are? That 
That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. Wait, Missile and Sissel? There's a connection. I'm a Pomeranian! I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? <laughs> so you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? You're like a, your mo- I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this guy's little death. This little guy's death. Time to save that- save his life. Yeah, save the dog's life! Yay! Maison de Amida. Amida's house. Let's see. Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Uh, you followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Looks like the dead can move around together. That is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. <laughs> oh my god. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the way your mind works. Great. I guess that's reasonable. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first. <laughs> we watch your last four minutes unfold, then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn in that junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues! <laughs> There's a Christmas tree. Yippee! Found the remote! Is this my sister? This is... I'm Sissel. This is Missile. Camilla's my sister. Oh. Maybe not anymore. Why is her hair a rose? Her hair is literally in the shape of a rose. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! Okay, bitch. <clears throat> you don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? You like to bark so much anyway. You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, he really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know! I'll listen to music! Oh, the dog! Wait, does the dog have three tails? I thought it was wiggling so fast, but no, it has like four, three tails. You're not a regular dog. That's an anime dog. It has four tails! in the mood for donuts tonight. Rat! Oh my god, a rat! I'll knock this wall down! Dog is so innocent. <gasps> I don't like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Well, look 
at that! I'm dead! <laughs> this is true dog energy. <laughs> This is so accurate. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. <laughs> oh. Every time I Ah, never mind. My, my nose just gets stuffy so easily. All right, let's see. How are we gonna do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! <laughs> I can't help them! <laughs> okay. Then I guess the only thing we could do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Oh, you mean the headphones. Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things! <laughs> You're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Uh-oh. Oh man. Four minutes before the dog's death. Gotta save the dog. Gotta save the dog. Okay. Okay. something there. If we drop them into the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. What if we drop them in the fish tank? Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend like it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you're obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. Oh, oops. The same thing. Oops, oops, oops. Alright. I don't think this is gonna do Even if I do the timing right. I don't know what that would do exactly. Like if I hit the tell if I can time it or anything. Oh my god, the wall is actually full on shaking! Oh wait, no, no, I missed the bubble! Oh no! Oh! I want the bubble! <clears throat> oh, there! Bubble! Oh no, oh no, don't listen to music. Wait, no, don't do that. Oh, 
Oh, oh, right. That's just the starting point. I was like, wait, the soul wasn't there before. And using this. That's funny. Oh, my God. This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. Looks like I can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before death world. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, I shouldn't be able to actually interact with it. So opening the door... Hold on, do that again? It doesn't seemingly do anything. No. Mm, damn it. There's nothing else I can do! Oh, the poor dog. <laughs> mm, I want to save your life. I do, boy, I do. But I'm not understanding the point in the door. Maybe... Maybe I can get her attention when she walks over here with that. I thought the goal would be to... To, uh... Get that to be... Get, get that in the fish tank somehow, but I can't... Like, precisely when she walks over here. When she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. I'm trying! No! Oh, I did it! Oh! Hey! First try. How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought those headphones, too. How about if we tell her that you did it, Missile? Same dog. Woof, woof, woof. Mealspace, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate it. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Kimmel. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? N uh, no, never mind that. The important thing is that we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. All right. But I can't get over there. Oh, there we go. There's my trick. Now I can get over. So I can move the cart. Okay. Uh, we can play with... That's the only thing we can do, so let's go for it. So that's how we get around. There's no way to go. I can't reach up there. Eh. Okay, rock the painting. Open that. Okay. doing under here, you silly boy? Aw, my little missile. Happy Always doing the cutest things. Thank you, Neri, for the 36 months. Appreciate it. Now they're hiding under the couch. Nobody's here, eh? How do you not hear the man coming in? 
My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. What? There, our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Hell yeah, that's true. That's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. Oh, look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. I saved Miss Camilla? Yup. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress, and I can attest to that. Oh! <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> can I ask a question? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I guess? That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's gonna happen to me now? Nothing really, your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Maybe, if, I, if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it! Well, I guess we better get back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. I saved the dog! I can die happy now. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his happy little tail. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Still at the junkyard. All right, got it. I'm on my way. Guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't even let enough. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. Can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. But he's supposed to be the hi the guy that's like one step ahead. What was that about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Oh no! No, 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 no! Lynn! Oh god, oh god, oh god, um... A call from Lynn, eh? It sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I'd better go possess that phone and listen in. I'm, I'm trying! There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what, what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklamp taught me. So, what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I'd better try possessing him and see. It's you! It's you! Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye, I'm Missile. But you know, it's strange. I wonder what you why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course! All of it! Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. Wait, this is, this is information that's going way over my head right now. Hold up. The dead that you meet in the ghost world develop a core 
And then when they return to the land of the living... Okay. And if I then possess the core... Then I can talk to the... Per okay. Okay. I'm following! What never fails? Every time she gets on that plaque, hello? She talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that was you showing off, eh? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, and so would I. Literally too cute. <laughs> he calls the phone up. Oh, there's a lot of little great things here. Camilla! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've got to get out of there right now. What about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. Oh, spaghetti sounds good. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box, then can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of a big, it's kind of big, and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so creepy. Oh god, why'd you throw your telephone in the freaking water? What are you doing? I've dropped the phone in there, too. How about if we tell her that you did it, Missile? <laughs> I'm sure Hope Lynn's... I sure hope Lynn's all right. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Help me look, okay? <laughs> I guess the phone's now uh, phone's dead now too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lazy lady is a bit of a klutz. The next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Oh no! I'd better help Camilla find her treasure. I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. That's a little bit sus. Hi, dog. Looks like this is your chance to shine. Me? What do you mean? You can't really help her out right now, but that gray nose of yours. Oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. So what kind of smell should I be looking for? Oh, uh, uh, I don't really know. Oh. Hey, come on. You can't expect me to do everything for you. That's okay. Don't feel too bad about it. I'm being consoled by a dog. <laughs> What a turn of events. That's okay! for Christmas, too. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cute if that's what the tree was really thinking? Seriously, what's the plug? Maybe the plug's not in right. Just what I need, one more to make the missile bark. Rotate faster. I found the music box. I just don't know how to get up there.
It's moving so fast. Hmm. Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> it puts it ever so slightly up higher. Oh, physics, that's so cool. I didn't even think about that. Oh. That is a five head play, man. This is it, the music box. We got it. I'll leave the remote here, but don't you touch it, Missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Oh. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away and no barking! Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, and find, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? We're stuck here forever, game's over. So that was 731 to 804. We've played an hour of the game in real time. Okay, that's not like quite real time. We've been playing for what, an hour and a half now? Almost real time. All right, chapter three, 804 p.m. Once again, Lynn is in danger and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt that she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead and I can't lose her. I have to get her to, to her and fast. With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope of escape is to find another telephone. No Mr. Desk Lamp here. The only friend I have to talk to is that nice little doggy curled up on the floor. What's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try! About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. <laughs> ah! I think you might be right there. But I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing me after me with a broom. The, ne the lady next door kicks the wall. I've got a, quite a bit of influence around these parts. dog If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Woo! She's a uh, she's mad. She also got extreme back problems. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door is Angry Howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering that to us. Yes, but she's most certainly to crush me underneath of it. No, she wouldn't do that. Really, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Can't you bark any louder than that? Louder, but then that lady will knock the wall down on top of me. We'll worry about that when it happens. Anyway, I'm barking as loud as I can already. I need to have this little doggy put some more energy into it. Let's see, wasn't there something else around here that gets a reaction out of him? Well, several things. you didn't die I told you I would knock the whole wall down on you so this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you huh it's more than she knocked you out through the wall though really I'm still alive aren't I you are, but the TV and the star, or aren't, star ornament aren't. I'll never bark again, not as long as I live! But wait a minute. It looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Your barking made her create a path for me. But the wall is still standing just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths. All right, let's go. <gasps> so you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn. I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yeah. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. <sighs> I, I love this dog speech so much. <laughs> we create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right! Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. Tonight is that holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need to get some information is to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. Boorish people. There's a rat! Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with the oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is, the telephone. Now, if I can just borrow it... Trick time! Examine the dictionary. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy up. And it's more like a weapon than a book. Even now, Lynn's life is in danger. I have to use that phone and fast. I can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find a way to bring it, get it over there myself. Oh, 
Release the rat! Unleash the rat! Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman, and I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you, even if it means my ultimate ruination. Ruination, is that even a word? In that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. Ah, oh, this is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Oh, the rat's back. Unleash the rat! Oh, I tried to get the rat to scare her. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Whoa, there's a person. Perhaps my darling angel? Yep, yeah, one-handed. I mean, look at the glass of wine that she's holding. That's chonky too. stuck. All I can do is turn a goddamn knob. What is it, my darling angel? My head hurts, mama. You poor dear, and no wonder, with a fever of 102. Here is to a night of fever, hotter than the love of my prime minister. What? go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I don't ever want to go, I don't... I just don't go and pretend I did. I'd go play with Camilla next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we gonna celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now, Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! I just have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. <laughs> now, now, it's time for good little girls to get to sleep, especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. Yikes!
My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. You're sentenced to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. This is something. I made a typo. Oh, I see. Average fan fix. Oh my god. You can't say that. That's toxic. Hello. <clears throat> is that you? Oh, is this Mr. Prime Minister? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! Let me talk to Emily. Lee, then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa! Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Wait a minute. Don't try to call me again. I won't answer. I REFUSE TO ANSWER! This is fine. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right about now. I'd better hurry. There's more to do. All right, the troubled man's office. Are you all right, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me. I beg your pardon, sir! I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir! Oh boy, another strange room and another strange person. I wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. Alright. Starting off with the telephone. We got a water pitcher. We got a flag. We can flap the flag. Got documents. Oh, I want to read those. Eh. It really doesn't flap that much. being a dead soul it's honestly kind of cool maybe being dead ain't so bad you know you know whenever i die in life one day i'll think about this game 
Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. <clears throat> Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Oh, our lamp friend. And beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is. Welcome back! You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, huh? Where is Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. You know, you could have just told me that too, right? She was taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. I better see what I can find out. You're a desk lamp that already knew all this information and just decided not to tell me. just as stuck here. Wait, what? Hmm. Quite a thing, huh, this case? Yeah, one of our own. A murderer? Heads with heads will roll over this. Wait, what? She's a rookie, too. I heard that she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't giving crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard that she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cab Cabanello of the Special Investigation Unit. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. I think we can safely assume that the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella here of the Special Investigation Unit is on his way now. What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanel is our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape or he'll there'll be hell to pay. Hmm, don't see what that has to do with me. <laughs> I don't really get what Cabanel wants, uh, wants to come for either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Whoa! Is that the Cabanella? Very flamboyant. Ah, the tension of the crime scene! He's so extra. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. He's moving. Evening, boys! How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine! You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. So this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit. He seems, uh... <laughs>
Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, about fair to average, if I had to say. Yes, it's going all right. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do a man a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. <laughs> Ugh, sorry, Inspector. Uh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to have you made it. That, how, that other fellow just about threw me off for a loop. Started blathering something about being a guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. <sighs> sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything uh, comes up. <laughs> this guy is so extra, what the hell? Dances with every step, flips the phone in his hand, just woo! He's having fun with life. Now then, sir, if I may make my report, sir. Doc! Yoo-hoo! Oh, Doc! Talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you care to do that for me, Doc? Don't need to tell you don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see this suspect now, if I may. Uh Lynn, sir, I asked her to let uh, to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super off, super's office, huh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like a baby. Woo -hoo! I almost want to like. I don't... <laughs> he gives me like a MJ vibes or something. I don't know. Carry on, boys. <laughs> terrible. Phew! That Inspector Cabanella, he sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again. And I've never seen anybody use the stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? How should I know? We can pretty safely assume that this was the murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol. Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? That's not good. If it's hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? So, what if there's, like, a special unit or something, uh, I don't know, like, um, I have these, like, special powers when I die, right? Like, but nobody else has them. So, like, what if Lynn killed me knowing that I could go back into the past and prevent somebody else's death because I would have that one day? So, like, it was, like, a planned murder that I willingly uh, put myself into to save somebody else that previously died a day ago and it was like the super five head of the like she could have killed me sure but maybe the intent wasn't you know maybe they prior knew that i had this like post-death special power uh i don't know i don't know how you would know that before you actually die anyway that's not an emblem thing i'm just fp thank you so much for the five gifted subs i appreciate it that's very kind of you there's been so much support the past like week especially thank you guys so much i really do appreciate that Z 
examine the pistol. So, this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol. Eh, the memory seems to be hazy on pistols, but I've seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part here, right here is... Fool! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction! I, I didn't fire it! I'm the victim here. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Eh, I guess that proves it's a real gun. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun. <laughs> Everything is scaring them. I've got a real bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Uh, okay, if you say so. But hold on, what if there's something else? I still have this, like, strange aura around my body. Ah, there you are! Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super uh, super's office, would ya? Uh, uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Uh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, Granny, get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see to it that you never wear a green suit again! Woo! Please, doctor! Go to the superintendent's office immediately! What's going on? Don't ask me, but something really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. But my body! What if I went back to the other places first? I can go anywhere. This line doesn't seem to be working. Oh, it's not working? Oh. Why isn't it working? That seems plot convenient. Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight, but as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anyone else die. I obtained a new background. Oh, I thought it was talking about the black screen. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank you. I just got a black screen as my background. I was confused. <laughs> what a nice game. Got the most beautiful black screen. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. No, Lynn, hang in there, baby! Looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigated and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each other to our own profession, to his own profession, shall we? Well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair.
Why is the pigeon holding the key? Oh, it's under... Oh my god, it's like Saz from Final Fantasy 13. He like has shit in his hair and his fro. It's like a nest. Chocobos, if I remember. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet! Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Our second death of the night, actually. Um, what if I just awkwardly left the scene? Bye! She'll be okay. He still appears to be deeply troubled. If he doesn't have any work to do, why doesn't he just go home and go to bed? Maybe the fact that he doesn't have any work to do is what has has him deeply troubled. I have quite a lot of work to do myself. Don't know which of us is in a more enviable situation, though. Okay, we still got nothing. Oh, okay, we can still go to this line. Two stray games. I don't know if I'll wear this hat for rain code, too. We'll see. She'd type her fingers to the bone to come to complete her tale of love, I imagine. This girl was like the world's first fanfic writer or something. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my God. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Let's go to the park. It appears to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The voices of two young people drift over to me on the breeze. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park, the rock of the gods! I'm sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a questionable person. No, uh, but if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, all right, uh, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we. Oh man. I guess I should check first. A leaflet, that's all we got. All right, no park yet. All right, I guess I'll go save Lynn a second time. <sighs> okay, turn on the guest desk lamp swivel. What's a swiveling do? Because I already have a path, so I don't know why I would need to do that. Notebook. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Nobody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Somebody. Uh, maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up? Bag, motor. We're going down. Wait. Oh, that is creepy as fuck. Uh, what is this? Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me, are you ignoring me? Uh, I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm still not used to talking to, with dead people, you see. Dead. So I'm dead. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective uh, description, but sure. Yeah, this guy, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Uh, take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. <laughs> there, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. <laughs> Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ugh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. I'm looking for the answers to the questions, who am I and why was I killed? Uh, do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of a bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? In the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. Oh, I knew you were the lead that I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Because uh, I don't know you. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. No way. Well, uh, that's... Okay. A lot of my theories just went out the window. No, she wasn't my wife. No, she wasn't trying to kill me on purpose. Great. So I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. Uh, I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? After I just passed my test finally this year. I exist, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid, the shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight, about ghost tricks, possessing, and manipulating objects, and about going back in four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before. And you saved me? That's right, you don't remember? Mm, yeah, I do remember something like that happening, vaguely. Yeah, I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight? Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. <laughs> hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much all recovered already. Uh, so, you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. So, do you suppose that we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was an any accident. Why in the world would I be out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Can't you 
Uh, can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding me. You mean bingo by you. I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you come at why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. Goes without saying that I don't remember. Everything is so confusing! Can't you do something? Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed. I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to a person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. But I'm afraid I'm still not going to ask you. Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's really selfish of me. I really apologize. But I can't... I can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case, in spite of all of that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago that you don't know me? I'm certainly not gonna threat, uh, treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What do you do after that is up to you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Rewind, baby! YouTube rewind. <laughs> oh, look at that. Win second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. I have a bad feeling about this. Detective, is everything okay? Uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Aw, oh, dude, food delivery sounds good. You should leave jobs like this to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. <laughs> I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Oh, there he is! Spinning right in there. <laughs> evening, uh, patrolman. Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work. Now... Do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my lens in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me, I'm being suspected? Suspected of shooting that pointy haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Never, baby. Oh, oh well, uh, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But is it? It's funny, isn't it? I took a little, I took a look, uh, I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. 
and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who, better, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you, I'd never be able to look at him in the eye again. Huh? Bloodbleed, thank you for the 32 months. I appreciate it. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! It seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that! Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that! Looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. One four-minute game. Did I just say Crisis Core? Did I? I don't know if I did. That's a damn good question, man. This underground is very suspicious. Okay. Examine the photos, examine the microscope. Let's examine both. Let's go. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. <laughs> a giant nail clipper? What the fuck? Do you know what it is? <laughs> Why did you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? It's one of those science-y things that scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't, ha don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is, but it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. You don't even remember what science is? These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not better to ask. I'm probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch, this lady's tongue can be sharp. I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. Is just like there, the pigeon headed guy. What's up with this blinding pick notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? Who were you calling anyway? It was personal business. back to the station for a minute, though. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Do you think the policeman just called for the order of her death? What if that's what the call was about? He wasn't asking for a chicken dinner. He was calling so that maybe she would die. Like, hey, she's here. Go for the hit now, sir. They ordered me here to stand guard over this rookie detective, Lynn. Now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. They told me to call the detective outside if she did anything suspicious. Uh-oh. Maybe I need to call the detective outside after all. She's so beautiful, it's criminal. Why 
turn it on? I want to get up there. What did I do? And who's him? All right, swivel the lamp. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Um, oh, geez. Uh, trip her with. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, she's about to die. Um, trip her with the stepladder or something. Move the step ladder. Oh fuck, that did not. Um, she's dead. She's she's dead. Oh god. Um, 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 uh Swivel this. Uh swivel again. Ah! <laughs> You died. Time's up. <laughs> From the beginning. That's cool that the soul just like disappears right after that. I love that. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Oh. Oh, like leave. Oh, I'm not used to this. No, 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 I didn't know no, that I could just no. freaking leave. Zerwindo! Thank you so much for the read. I appreciate it. Thank you for that. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome in, everybody. Know that she's gonna be just fine. Hello, the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We got your chicken. I don't know why. I gave him that accent. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Go there. Yeah, let's go to the chicken place. I'm sure that's gonna help us a lot. Why am I 
going to the chicken place. <laughs> also, why does he have bread for a nose? Hello, where would you like that delivered? I'm glad I can go to the chicken kitchen now. Oh, la la la! What does it matter? A chicken order on two lost. He's now French. If it were three orders, that would be a different story, though. La la la! French chicken guy. That makes perfect sense. All right, we got a telephone book. We got a menu board. We got a bell. Let's ring the bell. I want my chicken. This isn't where the hitman who's trying to kill me is. Okay, look, you really don't need to be a buzzkill. Do you really have to be a buzzkill, though, like that? I was having fun. We can only use the lines while the telephone is being used. Oh. We have to start over. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it was worth it to see the chicken place. over here except for these two really I wish I could go down I really want to know what's down there so curious y'all I don't mind doing like uh, fan projects here and there I've like done some voice acting for some YouTube video friends that needed some voices but aside from that I'm no pro man. phone ring happens. If at all. His taste is perfectly normal, but anyway, not that part. The part about the order he got. The order the tele t the order to telephone and outside if I did anything suspicious. I was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but he didn't call. He should have been more observant. Alright, so he has to see something suspicious. Hey, wait a minute. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. <gasps> no, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this! Alright, let's go. I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. 
Yes, sir. In a, in a very suspicious manner, in a very conspicuous place. Let's see. Uh, it's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in, too, and referring to her notebook. The phone is glowing! Okay, so we have to choose the right place to go, because it's a one-way ticket. Alright, junkyard. Oh, I don't I don't have a choice. Okay. Whew. I've been waiting for you. That is so creepy. Fuck off. No. Yeah, what are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old grandpa. Wait. The desk lamp sounds like an old grandpa? Just call me Ray. <laughs> grandpa Ray? You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're so holes, we can choose any appearance that we like. Which <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level, a sand few minutes ago. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. All right, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. Well, why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few have the powers of the dead. What are you saying? I'm not special? Ugh, that's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Hey, my dead body's still looking good. Carry on, boys. I feel like they keep setting me up to die. All these detectives want me dead. They're trying to pin something on me, which is very mean. That's very not cash money of them. That's that horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. I'm really not big on the idea of getting shot again. Ah! I'm going, I'm going. Oh, oops. We already have the blunder out, so basically the same way we did it last time. Must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make good and sure he understands. What happens to people who point guns at others? There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Speaking of blinding... Cabanera. Ah! I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month now for sure. There he is! The horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tengo, but that doesn't matter now. Well, we have to stop him from shooting fast. All right, I'm going. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. 
Um, I can just blind him, right? We did it! I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really going to stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I'll put I won't put in my I promise I won't put it in my report. Eh, let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Okay. Good pedaling. Oh, I thought I could pedal this bike. Oh, I cannot. Nightstick. Uh-oh! If I want that position, I have to be careful about even the little, the least bit of life. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be... If I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. <laughs> Damn, girl. Okay, okay. Oh, look at that. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Uh, just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day. I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. That's a bit extreme. Pull the lever, Crumb! Oh, nothing happened. I thought this lever was for swinging that crane ar arm around. I'd like to I'd like to swing that horrible hitman around. I wonder if there's some other way that we can use the crane. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? Wasn't me. It was off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Just make sure you lay off of it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be, we ought to, ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. doing shit like this anyway. Why is he setting up traps for me like he knows what I'm doing?
could keep that searchlight on. just back down here for some reason. I just got trolled, didn't I? Oh no. the umbrella. I think I was supposed to turn the crane first. Uh-oh. The hitman's back. to restart because of the the umbrella now. This is the work of you know. Hey, shut up. You're creeping me out. You know as well as I do. The only explanation for mischief like this is Inspector Cabanella. So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost. But Inspector Cavanella is a really nice person. That's what they all say, buddy. Uh, yes, I'm on PS5. Oh, the Hitman's back. Without the umbrella, uh, but mm, I don't think so. I don't know where the hitman could be now. Oh, all the way back there. Oh, and we can't keep all three of them on at the same time. Mr. Division Head seems to like d dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him and uh, throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him! Hold up, when did I become her assistant? Okay, I think I, this is where we call for the umbrella. I, I think I gotta restart because we fucked up. I don't see how we get out of this, really. another spot. Uh. Oh no, I'm still gonna get shot. He's gonna go to the other spot. He's technically not anywhere. Wait. right there. See? Easy. I just do this. And then another light will go out. Oh! I think I need the umbrella for that. Oh no, I'm sorry, Lynn. You died again. 
Oh no, I was so close. Even if we block a shot, this only buys us a little bit more time. Doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. Crush him? It's a little bit extreme. All right, here we go. Now we know exactly what to do. Just saying, if there's anybody in the chat that's trying to help me, mods just ban them for like a whole week because by then I'll be done playing this game. <laughs> people that would just backseat if I play raincoat anyway. You're right. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I need like these two lights on and the third one. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. I got to bait him to the back. for a perma you know you're right i own i do feel like i'm too nice sometimes hey where's the other officer hey 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 These two. No! Don't walk away! Okay. Not the umbrella. Gate. And then if I just do it again, it's not gonna really do anything. Yeah, it's just a game. I don't know what the umbrella's gonna do with- oh. Hmm. I don't know what this is gonna do dropping the umbrella here. I want to try the lever again. God, these officers are so stupid. Time. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, I gotta do this now. Fuck. Um. Can I lower this? Oh my god, I could have lowered the hook the whole time. It wasn't me! Nobody said it was. 
There. And we found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. I didn't need the umbrella the whole time, man. It was a bait. It was a fucking bait by Habanero. Why not, I wonder? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. <laughs> okay, got it. I was kidding. <laughs> well, I guess we'll be back. We better be getting back to the present. Just die again. If you want to see me again. That's like a Giga Chad move to say, though. I like it. Lynn has escaped to death for a second time, but that doesn't mean that she's out of the water yet. I'd better go see how she's doing. Sure. Oh, wait, now I use the umbrella to get down, right? Ha 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 ha, this was the role of the umbrella all along. Hey, look, my beautiful dead smoking body. Wait a second, the, the light. Ray. This little bitch is evil, and you can't convince me otherwise. It looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the Super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the Super's office and see her. Sounds like a good idea. The, the lamp told me at one point in time that I can rewind as many times as it takes to save someone's life. I wonder if the lamp has done the same thing. I really need like a, a minute. Give me a solid minute here. Uh, I just need to go grab water. I'm kind of dying. I'm gonna go pee. Uh, I don't know, be good or something. The long cat is judging you. I'm back. 
and uh long cat long cat is telling me that you guys were good i'm surprised Sissel, Ray, and Crystal are all suited in red. It's just the top! <clears throat> so, th thoughts on the music? I'm just surprised at how much of a bop it is. I'm genuinely surprised. All right, we can keep going. My voice just needed a little bit of a break. Fully voicing games, man. <laughs> it's gonna cause for some shorter streams. I want to go to the kitchen kitchen. Chicken kitchen. Customer is hungering for chicken tonight. I hear singing coming from the chicken. A uh, chicken from the kitchen. The chicken is singing. To tonight, I'm in love. I'm in love with you and only you. My darling, Miss Chicken, let me shower you with gifts of salt and pepper. La 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 la. He's not a big he's not a bad singer, but I guess I better get going. Chicken! Oh chicken! One of the chefs of all time. I wanna go everywhere that I'm not supposed to go first. Is this still closed? I don't want to check on Lady Red. Let's check the troubled man. Maybe he's different now. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Emma was right. Maybe I was. it was a mistake I was ever born at all. But wait a minute! If I'd never been born, Emily wouldn't be here right now! Ugh, it's gotten to the point where I don't know what my mistakes were. What defines a mistake, anyway? If something isn't right, does that make it a mistake? I'm out of here. <laughs> yep, and we go. Uh, the park? Let's see. The detective who was ordered by Cavanella to perform a stakeout is nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's in the restroom? I wonder if that strange young man followed him in there. I don't think I can get over there. I think we're stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. Oh. to the office where Lynn was being detained with her changed with her changed fate her story was sure to change too and maybe that would lead us in some new direction now that Lynn is alive again I wonder what she's doing she said she was investigating an important case tonight could that case be connected to me in any way 
Bum 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 bum. Jeez, that was only eleven minutes. Oh boy. Game moves very fast. It is now 8.34 p.m. This whole journey started at 7.02. It's only been like an hour and a half. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Fool! We told you not to let her out of your sight! My apologies, sir, but I never thought that she would just run away. Lynn is our angel, I, I mean friend. I, I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, family, they all run like when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? Oh. Dude, that got way too personal. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> You'll never make detective at that rate. Now find Lynn. If Inspector Cavadilla gets word of this, it's all over. So, our redheaded detective escaped, did she? I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Phew, she's fast. Well, guess I'll look around her for leads. Her notebook is still there. Oh, I can close the spout lid. <laughs> Sad and forgotten, sits behind the bookshelves. Who could she have been calling on the phone before she hit it there? I wish I could find out. Can I go down here? It just might be time to clean this room up. But will that close the matter? Her appearance here of all places and tonight of all times. I hardly think it's coincidence. That old pigeon man, do you suppose that he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped through here. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. I, I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool, don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. Oh my god. leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You'd better keep your eye on that old man, too. The old pigeon guy has some pretty strange taste in wall decor. No idea what this instrument is for. As a matter of fact, this whole desk is filled with things I've never seen.
Stupid dumb officers. A step ladder is moving on its own. He's completely unfazed. I could swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me. Could it be? It sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it. That was an unexpected tangent. I'll never make detective at this rate. What I need is some sort of achievement. A feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead that might do the trick. A helpful and blindingly obvious lead is staring you in the face right now. Alright, let's go. It might spark something between us if I give it back to her. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, this is a very complicated matter. What have you got there? Uh, this? Uh, oh, uh, this is... Uh, wait a minute, is that... It's Len's notebook. Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. This telephone number with a big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know what, who she was calling? I'd like to know. Uh, oh, but I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. No, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I'd better check it out. speaking please yes hello this is a criminal investigation we need your cooperation hey i know that voice is that you detective mccall officer bailey what's up sir you don't usually call this late uh did you get a call from one of our detectives lynn earlier from lynn uh, yes i did she calls every night maybe she senses it's about to happen did she say anything special no not really is something wrong I might be contacting you again if I have other if I have other questions. <laughs> Distension though. What the hell? I'm going to go file the report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but that notebook. Would you mind if I gave? N never mind, sir. Just stay on your toes. He wants to give the notebook to Lynn. Ah! Wait, no. I want to get up there. There goes my chance to kindle a romance with Lynn, and I didn't even get any credit for finding the notebook. I forgot to ask whose telephone number it was. If only I could crawl into this elevator and just disappear. If I disappeared, I wonder if Lynn would shed a tear for me. This dude is simping so hard. And here I thought it was he was examining the elevator for clues. Nope. I want the book. Damn it. All right, let's go. Camar. <laughs> what was that call all about? I heard you say Lynn. I don't 
don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Damn. Harsh. Big B, thank you so much for the 32 months. I appreciate it. <laughs> that pose. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. That was my way of expressing indignation, putting it in the form of a question. I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call. But what exactly is this place? Well, they have keys. Maybe it's like a prison. Oh. What if she's trying to get a visitation call with somebody close to her that's in prison? What's this? I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head. It's not like you have all of t uh, you have a ton of duties after all. Use a little brain power. Ah! What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. So let's see this important to-do list of yours. Nine, take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. Nine o'clock, eh? That's when Lynn usually calls. Oh, she's, she's trying to time it. We can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Poor Lynn sure wish she, I could comfort her. my important duties memo. I see the inspiration from like Ace Attorney. I only played great Ace Attorney Chronicles, but like <laughs> I can see like the flamboyance of the characters, the shaky text, like all those little things that make Ace Attorney what it is. And like stylistic and cute and unique. I don't know. It's, it's in this game too. And it's very cute and I love it. I mean, <clears throat> I hate this game. That's in my important duties memo. That's okay, I've got it all memorized for you. It's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. That's it. Hello? Oh, Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please, let me talk to him. Detective, uh, I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey, do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight. Well, I've got to go. I'll call again tomorrow. Damn. Oh boy, well, I guess I'd better call the detective division. there, Bailey. Don't tell me you're going to report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists, and then I can wad it up for you to throw it away for you and throw it away. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but tonight is a kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exception for my Lynn, too? Special case, huh? All right, you win. 
Tonight is a special case. My God, what is going on on this night? I don't think what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line and I'd better hurry. Oh, I'm supposed to hurry? Oh, right. I mean, missile is cute. Sure. What in the fuck? Um... Um... Why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a police officer, it should have been me! Well, uh, looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? I excuse me, mister. You talking at me? She died in the basement this time. What the hell? This room. There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? How did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murder vanishes into thin air in a vacuum. Just go find a rail detective. Oh. I'll keep watch here. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> what a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, eh? Ah, things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. <laughs> but no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. Haha! <laughs> I died again! Did she kill herself in order to see us? I thought you'd be a little bit more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So, what happened to you this time? Who shot you? I don't know. I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy, I guess I'll just have to go out and find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression of being used here. Okay, let's, uh, looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Rewind, baby! Ha ha ha, that's hot! How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that time wasn't ripe. If he doesn't backtrack, she probably is saved. Oh, holy shit. It's a big trap room. If you open up the door. 
Wow. Holy shit. What is up with this room? Holy. That's the truth behind our locked room murder? So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned out the light. So, must have been what set it off. The whole murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creeping machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. Murder machine time! You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. You know, because the murderer is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures, but I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago, me turns off on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. It looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this device. It's just a giant Rube Goldberg machine, man. How long has it been since I locked in this room? I thought that the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that the time wasn't right. He just knows not to turn on the light. Oops, I'm not paying attention. Oh, fuck me. Mm. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, good. I don't think I want to leave the room, do I? Uh, I mean, no, I, this is the telephone, not him. How did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I've always liked small cramped places. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Eh, I guess I can understand that. Ah, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. Oh yeah, I can't do anything until he answers it. Oh. Is this the superintendent? I'm so glad. I thought I was all alone. Um, I don't know what going there is going to solve. Um, um, uh, sure. I know the teapot is a thing. Lynn ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles! That's gratitude. That's gratitude for you. We were just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he have would he have preferred getting scalded by the steam? Well, at least this changes his this his fate changed a bit. That's good anyway. Oh. I don't think this is going to change anything exactly. So yeah, you turn on the light and then the fan works. The fan is connected to this. This is quite the Rube Goldberg machine. I like it. Um, but yeah, so the fan turns, this rod turns, it raises, that machine goes on. Uh, this spins and goes down the line to raise. It's a pulley system to raise the gun. It's a double pulley system, so it both raises, I think, the bow and the... Oh, that's cool. 
I made a few Rube, Go Rube Goldberg machines in, um, in school. I had a lot of fun with those. I don't know if I should go down or up. I guess I should just stay here. Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, the murder machine has started, and if the whole thing plays out, that gun on the wall will go off. Uh, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. You have to find it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So, the ball here, this isn't gonna do anything, the toolbox. Move the hoist? How would that do anything? I don't understand what this would do. Let's do it. Uh, that's not, that's not gonna do anything. Hey, that was pretty good just now. Maybe if we were on, uh, maybe if we were on a putting green. Not with a sling like that, maybe we could put it to use here. <laughs> Uh, I sh just might be able to use this trick somehow if I could change the path the ball takes. Uh, that's good and all, but it looks like we're out of time this time around. Oh, oh no. I'm dead. Okay. Well, after the fate change. <sighs> So following the ball. No toolbox. I'm not sure how that will solve anything actually, but meh. So just to be clear, I don't think I can get access to anything else here. The wheel spins and moves down the pole. There's a thread attached to it. Oh. Loops around the clock and it's tied to the frame the gun is, and it seems to be connected to our fiery Mr. Cupid. Yeah, it's a pulley system. Inertia is surprisingly power. It can't stop it once it's set in motion. Yeah. How is... Oh, it goes up. I thought that that went in. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh... Uh... Lex, thank you so much for the 14 months. I fucked up, but now I know how to do it. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck. Stupid nail. I thought whenever I had it, the door selected, I thought the door was gonna go inward. So I was like, what is that gonna do? Wow, the timing here is so tight. I could just stay with the ball, I guess? The, ugh, okay. Ah! Ugh. Eh.
I did it. This Rube Goldberg machine is pretty, uh... They even leave it to cover up evidence, too, by burning the threads. It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased. Again. Uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit anyway. What can this room be all about? I can't imagine. Those things that weren't far off that went off at the end, they were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers. I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party popper is the gun going off. It seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we get back down? Back to your new present? Congratulations, you're no longer dead. Sissel, are you there? Lynn is talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. You are here! I knew it. I just had a feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Oh, wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There, that tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So, did you have any something in particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case, some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else that you, that you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. Um, ask her about... This one seems juicier. I'll save it for last. So the girl with the bow. I see you have a little roommate. Oh, Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident in your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What well, kind of an incident? What happened? Is Camilla all right? She's fine thanks to her little loyal friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my. What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say when it rains, it pours. It's, isn't it time that you admitted that you need me? You need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. All right, so who shot me? You have your life and your memory back now, so let me ask you again. Who shot me? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe uh, from somewhere far away? 
so you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish I could be of more help. But I know it was I wasn't the old one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think that you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information? I wonder what info I had for her. About the information. So I had some important information that you wanted. That's right, you called the station yesterday, and you asked to talk to me. You told me that you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly, tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it? <laughs> Even given how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know? <laughs> but I couldn't just let it go, no, I, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right, you said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Uh, she probably can talk about it. It's just for plot reasons. What are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Uh, the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you? What are you gonna do? I don't know to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... I just realized, you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even if we can't, you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? Oh, pfft. that sounds bad. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You're on. But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner blackboard. Okay. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, see you later. Don't die again if you can't help it. She's gonna go die again. How long until you guys think that she dies again? Five minutes? Oh god, not the lamp. Oh no, not the lamp. He's gonna make sure that she dies. It looks like I hold the key to the case that Lynn is investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we started uh, so we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I'd better get to the prison. So this one was longer. You got 31 minutes or 29 minutes something like that. Oh, wait, continue playing. Wait, fuck. No, I actually think I should stop. <laughs> uh, my voice is going to die if I go any longer. <laughs> um, Yeah, I don't want my voice to die. Short stream, but uh, yeah, if I got to last all week, I should I should make sure that these are short. So yeah, this is awesome. I'm loving this. <laughs>